I have a friend of mine who is really very, he's a specialist in oil. He said to me, if you ask me tomorrow what would be the price of oil, I wouldn't be judging it. I mean, in the past, if you remember, the oil prices in a week or even a month will go down, up, up or down by 50 cent maximum by one dollar. Now in one day it can go two dollars, three dollars. Last night it went up by one dollar. So the volatility in the oil demand and supply is very high. Because you cannot say that, I mean, now look to Iran. They want to bump as much as they can. The same thing with Iraq, no control. Saudi Arabia, they want to maintain their sharing of the market. Demand, also the demand. And from China, the main source of demand for us, by the way, is not America, is China and India. As you know, growth in China three years ago to be at 9%, nowadays six something. So there is also, and don't forget, also the other source of energy, solar, blah, blah, these also competing. So if, you t if you ask me, I cannot very hard. I cannot tell you. Predict. Yeah, it says that uh, they have signed an agreement between how many countries, 20 or something countries. There will be something like 70% that will respect this agreement. 70 to 80, so the majority, Saudi, Kuwait, etc., will respect the agreement, and there will be some, like as you mentioned, uh, Iraq, Iran, that will not uh, respect this agreement. Meaning that still globally, the price will, I mean, they will, you know, globally they will respect this, and allowing to, 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 to put the, the price up. So that's, that's the provision. Okay, I agree that there's several. As I said to you, it's very hard to predict, and that's why I said our country, unfortunately, you know, 95% of our revenues in the budget is bribed from oil. We don't have as the source of income. You go to the Emirates now, go to Dubai, for example. They have tourism, they have blah, blah, all other revenues. There, for example, even Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia now, 70% of it is revenue derived from oil. The others, they have other of income. What we did, nothing, nothing what did, as I said to you, even, now I tell you, give you an example. Just today or yesterday, the Minister of Finance said our budget for 2017-18 will be 21 point, can't remember, point three or point four billion dinars. So this is comparing with 19, so we'll have what? around 10% increase, okay? But you know what? 50% wages and salary. 25% subsidies. So what do you have? 25%. Out of that 25, which are remaining 25, is only 13% for development, for development project. And then there's gonna be a deficit in the budget. What can I do? Okay. This year might be my deficit. Last year, deficit was 3 million. I mean, 15, 16. Now, 16, 17, deficit might come up to maybe 6, 7 million. And the next year, because what we have in the budget, we have in the budget some items which you cannot reduce or you cannot stop, which are salaries and wages. And every year, there is 5% increase, 5% increase in the salaries wages. So the budget is building up. And the only source you have is income, and we don't have the control, the income of from the oil for an hour. Look, I tell you what, the Saudi Arabia, even they cut the salaries. I mean, not the basic salary, but, you know, others are part of the salaries. They cut it, but some part of them, they cut it by 40%. They have to accept it. That's the way of life. And we are, we are countries. We are not like the human being. Human being is dive 60, 70, 100. But we are countries. Kuwait has been here for 300 years. And we're going to have, hopefully, it's forever. So what are we going to have been if after 10, 20 years, we run out of money? We're going to cons I mean, cons consume all of our reserve. And after that, what's going to happen? Nobody think about that, unfortunately.